Right, so here's another question that was asked over email. Um, the question is out of uh, section 7.5, and the problem is 7.5.33. They want you to find an equation of the line containing the given point and parallel to the given line. So they give you the point 7, 8, and then the line x plus 9y equals 8. All right, so what they're asking you here is they're actually asking you to find the equation of a line that contains this point and is parallel to this line. So remember what parallel lines, what it means to be parallel. Parallel lines run exactly, um, well, parallel to each other, um, the entire distance of their, of their graph. And in order for this to occur, you actually have to have the lines have the same slope. So parallel lines always have the same slope. Okay, the way that I'm going to use that, the usefulness is if I know that I'm trying to find a line that contains this point but is parallel to this line, I can find the slope of this line right here and then use that same slope for this line to find the equation. Okay, so what I would do then first of all is solve this equation right here, um, put it in slope intercept form so I can identify the slope. So let's subtract x from both sides. We have 9y equaling negative x plus 8. And then I would divide by 9. So I'm putting it in the y equals mx plus b form. That's so I can identify y equals mx plus b. So I can identify the slope. Okay. So when I divide by 9 here, this negative x over 9, it's actually a coefficient of a negative 1 ninth, and then you know my y-intercept there would be an 8 ninths. Okay. So the slope of the line that I'm supposed to be parallel to is a negative 1 ninth. That means that the slope of the line that I'm trying to find has also, also has to be a negative 1 ninth. So what I know now is I know that I'm trying to find a line that has a slope of a negative 1 ninth and contains the point 7, 8. Okay, so it's, this is kind of a two-part two problem. You first of all have to find the slope and identify that you need the same slope for the line that you're trying to find. And then now we actually have to go and find the equation of this line. And we're again, we're going to use this point-slope equation, which is that right there, y minus y1 equaling m times x minus x1. And if I label this point as x1, y1, then I can plug in the m, the x1, and the y1 into the equation. And, uh, and then be able to solve for, for the line. So this is y minus, my y1 is 8, equaling my slope, which is a negative 1 ninth times x minus x1 is 7. Okay, And again, we want to, usually we leave these things in the y equals mx plus b form. So I need to solve this basically for y. Take the negative 1 ninth and distribute it. So we have y minus 8 equaling negative 1 ninth x and then plus 7 ninths. And then I want to take the 8 and add it to the other side. And oh, I should point out this became a plus because I took a negative times a negative to get a positive here. And remember, when you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. This has a denominator of 1, so it would become positive 7 from multiplying the tops and 9 from multiplying the bottoms. Okay, so I'm going to add the 8 to both sides here. So I have y equals negative 1 ninth x plus 7 ninths and then plus the 8. All right, now I need to collect like terms. These two right here, the 7 ninths and the 8, are like terms. So I need to get a common denominator. Oops. Um, so my common denominator is going to be a 9. I'll multiply this by 9 over 9. In order to get the common denominator there, so this becomes y equals negative 1 ninth x plus 7 ninths plus 72 over 9. Okay, now that I have a common denominator, um, I can add the numerators together, so this becomes y equals 
negative 1 9th x, the 7 and the 72 becomes 79 over 9, and if that reduced, we would want to reduce it, but it doesn't. So that would be the equation of the line that is containing this 0.78, but parallel to the given line.